Graves, the Outlaw. Raised in the wharf alleys of Bilgewater, Malcolm Graves quickly learned how to fight and how to steal, skills that would serve him very well in all the years ahead. He could always find work hauling contraband up from the smugglers' skiffs that came into the bay each night, with a tidy side gig as hired muscle for various other unsavory local characters as they went about their business in the port. But the alleys were small time, and he craved more excitement than they could offer. Still little more than a youth, Graves stole a blunderbuss and smuggled himself aboard a ship headed out of Bilgewater to the Shereman mainland, where he stole, lied, and gambled his way from place to place along the coast. Across the table of a high stakes, and highly illegal, card game in Mudtown, Graves met a man who would change the course of his life and his career, the trickster now known to many as Twisted Fate. Each immediately saw in the other the same reckless passion for danger and adventure, and together they formed a most lucrative partnership. Between Graves' raw brawn and Twisted Fate's ability to talk his way out of, and occasionally back into, almost any situation, they were an unusually effective team from the onset. Their mutual sense of roguish honor grew into genuine trust, and together they stole from the rich, swindled the foolish, handpicked skilled crews for specific jobs, and sold out their rivals whenever they could. Though at times Twisted Fate would blow all their shares and leave them with nothing to show for it, Graves knew that the thrill of some new escapade was always just around the corner. On the southern borderlands of Valoran, they set two renowned noble houses of Noxus at each other's throats as cover for the rescue of a kidnapped heir. That they pocketed the reward money, only to ransom the vile young man to the highest bidder, should really have come as no surprise to their original employer. In Piltover, they still hold the distinction of being the only thieves ever to crack the supposedly impenetrable clockwork vault. Not only did the pair empty the vault of all its treasures, they also tricked the guards into loading the loot onto their hijacked schooner for a quick getaway through the sun gates. In almost every case, only once they and their accomplices were safely over the horizon were their crimes even discovered, usually along with one of Twisted Fate's trademark calling cards left where it would be easily found. But eventually, their luck ran out. During a heist that rapidly turned from complex to completely botched, Graves was taken by the local enforcers, while Twisted Fate merely turned tail and abandoned him. Thrown into the infamous prison known as the Locker, Graves endured years of torture and solitary confinement, during which time he nursed his bitter anger toward his old partner. A lesser man would surely have been broken by all this, but... Not Malcolm Graves. He was determined to have his revenge. When he finally clawed his way to freedom with the prison warden's brand new shotgun slung over his shoulder, Graves began his long overdue pursuit of twisted fate. The search led him back home to Bilgewater, where he found that the wily old card sharp had acquired a few new bounties on his head, and Graves would be only too happy to claim them. However, just as he got Twisted Fate in his sights, they were forced to put aside their differences in order to escape almost certain death in the ongoing conflict between the Reaver King Gangplank and his rival ship captains. Once again, Graves found himself escaping his hometown, only this time he had his old friend in tow. While both of them might have liked to pick up their partnership where they left it off all those years ago, such resentment couldn't simply be forgotten overnight, and it would be a while before Graves could bring himself to trust Twisted Fate again. Still, he feels Bilgewater calling to him once more. Maybe this time around, the pair of them will find their stride and be able to pull off the ultimate heist. <laughs>